EA Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present this first step on the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From La Quinta, California and PGA West, it's the opening round of the first tournament of the new year, the American Express. Well, it's been a long off season. Everyone here looking to get their new year off on the right foot. What better place to do it than right here in La Quinta as we see what's going on here in round one. We've got a tie at the very top at four under to this point. Meanwhile, our featured golfer will begin already six shots off the pace. So let's get you out to the action on the turn as we head to the tee at the par 4 tent. Frank, this is our golfer's first ever tournament as a professional on the PGA Tour. Now, you played a number of years on the European Tour before coming stateside, but take me back. What do you remember about your professional debut? Oh, it's huge, Rich. I can remember it like yesterday. I was 19. And uh, just how nervous you get. I, I was lucky enough that I had some friends that were professional golfers, and they took me aside, and they said, listen, you got two arms, you got two legs. You're just like everybody else in the field. Don't give in to them. But the nerves, too, you know, they you, you feel like you're in somebody else's body. But they said the other bit of advice I got, nerves mean you care. So don't ever want to play without them. So great advice, too. And this is a moment that they will always remember, your debut on the PGA Tour. That's got to be disappointing. Good line in the fairway and the approach winds up in a bunker. Okay, that should be inside of 10 feet, not too bad. Safely in, it's a par here at the 10th, and he'll remain at two over par. You know, Frank, this is a great setting for kicking off the new season. This Palm Springs area weather is almost ideal every single year. It's kind of like golf in a dome. So what's the secret to being successful on desert courses like this? Because we've seen some really low scores through the years. Rich, you nailed it. Uh, Dome-like conditions means everybody's going to go low. You're not really worrying about cross breezes. Plus, add that in that it's a relatively flat track. That means there's no elevation changes really to consider. Green's also relatively flat, so get that ball on the putting surface. Green's aren't overly quick, but uh, really anything inside 20 feet, you're going to have a good look at it. And don't keep looking at that leaderboard, because if you think you're going to make birdies, everybody else is doing the same thing. Pedal to the metal. Long drive, but a bad lie. Uh, wicked. Okay, back into the fairway, but still a long road home from there. Frank, what's involved here in the third shot now at the par 5 -11? Just really setting up a good angle for that third shot. This is, when you lay up, it always pays just to check where the flag is. You want to sort of have a nice, comfortable look or angle to the flag.
And a good iron shot, just not quite as close as what we'd all want to finish, but still. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. It would be very easy to underread this putt. There is break on it from left to right, particularly as it nears the hole. So that brushed in for par here at 11, and he'll stay right where he is. Up next. The